it conquered. Yes, it is a story of victory. Call it its beautiful eyes or its intense association with the Bollywood industry. Today, the Four Rings stands only next to its arch rival, the BMW. Through the drive of its all new Q5, 2013, it is lending us insights into its world of technologies. What you're going to be witnessing is the line between practical and theory blurry. It will be one of the most different kind of marriages staged online. One between engineering and art. A rare prospect. Alright guys, remember he'll descend control in this car here, we've got a nice little light there, push this that one. button on, that's it, push the button on there, Yeah. that'll control the speed all the way down the hill, it'll tell you the speed you're doing here, and it's because it's a very steep hill, it'll be doing about 4 kilometers an hour, because it's a very very steep hill you're coming So down. this is 30 degrees? About 30, 35 degrees. 30, 30. And the approach angle of this car is also 30 degrees, right? Yeah. So we're actually hitting the limit for the car. That's it. In terms of the hill itself, we're probably almost exceeding the limit, but you'll see it very, very with a Quattro system working nicely. It's very, very easy. You'll see you'll be able to climb up this hill at about 1,400 RPM. It'll actually walk up the hill here. So this latest two liter diesel. And you can see the love for Audi because you know he's wearing the Q5 T-shirt as well. So that's it. There we go. Yeah. Cool. All right. Enjoy. All right. Off Thanks. Bye bye. Oh. That's the point. We want you to experience the EDL, electronic death lock. It says that you're stuck, but you're not. Just go gentle on the throttle and you'll come out of it. Stay on the throttle, go a little more. That's it. Okay, so that was EDL in, uh, in action. Uh, the point was that we got stuck somewhere where I only felt I got stuck. Just to quote the words of one of the instructors up there. Electronic differential lock. The very purpose of a differential is to have the outer wheels rotate at a different speed from the inner ones on a turn. An electronic differential lock is a type of limited slip differential which prevents the wheel with least traction to get all the power and facilitates consistent power to go to the one with more traction, locking both the axles together. You'd get to experience a very sophisticated form of EDL when in water. The car wades through half a meter deep water like crocodile. The ABS sensor on the wheel senses the spin and activates the pulsating brakes. And ultimately power goes to the wheel with least resistance, that is one without brakes, hence pulling the vehicle out. Here right now we are standing on the dirt, okay. zero traction. Okay, okay. We're gonna exp uh, you're gonna experience the Quattro system now. All right. Okay, you can go full on gas. Okay. Full on gas. Let the Quattro system work for you. Right. There will be no wheel spin. Okay. And you will feel the acceleration as if you're standing on the tarmac. Okay. Okay. The Audi's Quattro system. Very different from a regular four wheel drive, the Quattro is an all time all wheel drive. At a given point in time, the ratio between the front and the rear is 40 is to 60. When the front wheels lose traction, the smart computer sitting there is not snoozing, well I hope so, and will also send the power to the rear axle in a max ratio between front and rear to go to 15 is to 85. And in case the rear wheels lose traction, the power will go to the front wheels as well in the ratio 70 is to 30. Torque vector is a derivative of the Quattro system, a system which is said to have drawn its inspiration from the nature, precisely the lizard. Yeah, we're going to have two cars, the Q5 with torque vectoring, the Q7 with no torque vectoring. We're going to come down towards you here and we're going to take a right hand turn. So from here you guys will see it going from this side to that side. The Q5 will turn, the Q7 will turn 
at the same speed. What you'll find is, look at the difference in how much wider the Q7 goes with all the momentum and without the torque vectoring. All right, so just a nice little demonstration for you guys. A modern SUV like the Q5 has computer monitoring each of its wheels independently. When a vehicle is yawing off its intended line of travel, the computer exercises control and engine torque and even apply brakes if necessary. What you see here is a demonstration. The inner car with torque vector is significantly prevented from fishtailing.